Hey guys, I'm Liz and today we're going to be talking about Bootstrap. Now, if you're new here, um, I film videos on random projects I'm working on and currently my biggest project is trying to build my stupid website, which I decided would be a great idea for the summer. So I signed up for an eight week boot camp on CSS, JavaScript and HTML through um, SheCodes. Um, and then this is a site that I found through SheCodes as I was learning. So I figured I'd get on here and show you guys what I'm talking about and some cool stuff that I've been learning. So first off, the class that I'm taking for the summer is the eight week um, SheCodes class. So I took the first, the three week one, the basics, like a while ago. Um, the basics one here back in November. And then I just signed up for the, uh, she codes plus, which is, I started May 31st, which is the summer. So this is what I'm doing this summer. We're doing great things. Um, so, uh, that is the class that I'm taking. And in here, they teach you about bootstrap. Now I thought this would be kind of cool for those out there who are kind of in the development world or like to code their own website or, you know, something to do with HTML and CSS and people like that. So bootstrap is like a toolkit. So this you press, so you get, you go to get bootstrap.com or you just type in bootstrap into Google and you click the first site or whatever. You get to the introduction here and, um, you're like, wow, this is a lot of information. Um, and you're like, okay, relax. So what you're basically going to do, is and this is what I've been taught to do on she codes is you basically copy like this link right here so this is like some code that you would put in the in the head of your of your uh, HTML script so we use VS codes and so if this looks overwhelming just it's really not that complicated a lot of it's just like it does its own thing <laughs> but basically this is the link that I'm talking about that you get from bootstrap so this is the link that you copy there and paste here. You put it in the head. So this is called a head. Now I'm no expert here. So I'm just trying to explain the best that I can, but you put it in this, you put this link here um, to get like this stuff where you're like, what the frick does all this mean? Basically when you start a VS code, you like, so like if I were to do a new one, I do like control N for new. And then I want to, let's say I want to name it or something. So I'm like, We'll save it. We're going to call it HTML. We're going to call this like uh, YouTube example. So we're going to go ahead and make that. And then what you're going to do is you do shift like exclamation point, you press enter, and then all this random shit shows up. And this is what they call the head. So this is where you're going to copy that link in from here. So you're going to go in here and then you're going to go back into this guy. Uh, you're going to paste it in there and bam, that's like half the steps. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do like a div dot container is this is what I've been told to do. And then you put all your HTML in this. And then when you go to call on certain items or you steal code off of steal, when you take code or borrow code off of bootstrap, it will work. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you have this stuff. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and save and then you can go in here, right click this, press reveal and file explorer. And then open up your documents. Obviously I don't have any code because it looks like this. So <laughs> what you're going to do is you go back to bootstrap. I'm getting to a point here somewhere. I mean, we're going to get there. Basically you go back to bootstrap. And let's say you want like a form or a button or something. So you're basically going to go into like whatever you want to steal from, from the, like, let's say I want a form that looks kind of like this, like this looks very googly. I like that. So we're going to copy said form, right? Steal the code. Then we're going to go back into VS code and literally paste the code and then press control S. You're going to go back to your internet. Go to your document and then press control R to refresh and then bam, you have like a working thing. So if you want to take code from bootstrap, it's very easy. And there's also buttons and stuff. So you can go in here and like buttons. 
So you can go to buttons and like steal buttons, which is kind of fun. So you get a large button, you just copy. And it's so easy because you just go into your VS Code and you're like, doo -doo, paste, control S, go back to your document, control R, and bam, you have all kinds of just like buttons and things. So that is kind of what Bootstrap's for. It's just really to find cool stuff and like borrow people's code. I mean, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Now, I mean, granted, you're not trying to just copy people's code and paste it in here. You need to like know what's happening. So if I, like this label, for instance, like I would want to know if I deleted that line, what it would do. I know what it does. You have to learn the code first before you can go out and like steal people's code, right? So this is kind of like the gist of it. You just have to put that link in here and then, and then do like a div, which I forgot what div meant, but it's basically like, like putting a, like a little, like, like this container, like a container around things. So if you want to div something, it means you want to like name something pretty much in the coding world. Um, so you just have a class of container and then that's it. That's how it figures out its stuff. Don't know much else than that. I just know that it's really freaking cool. And I didn't know you could like steal people's code on the internet and make cool buttons. So I like that. Um, but I want to get more involved in here and kind of look at what all there is. Now I've only shown you like some HTML stuff. I'm not sure about um, JavaScript yet. I haven't do like dove into that one yet, but I'm sure Bootstrap has all kinds of JavaScript stuff. Um, you can also do like, the grid is a huge one that we learned. So if you want to make certain columns, you can you can div a class container. So you, so this container already does the container for you. So you would just kind of add the rows and columns, and then you can do that. So like for example, for my project, um, where you could just open up one of these and see how to do it. So I'll just like open this one in a file explorer, and then open that guy up. And that's what this one looks like. It kind of looks like shit, <laughs> but I was just playing with it. So you can see you can make certain columns. Um, and then what I did for my final project is you can go or file. Let's open file. Let's open my homework. So this is my homework one. So we'll reveal in file explorer for this one. So this is what I made the weather app. So I'm going to do a separate video on, on how this code set up because this is a Bitch. Um, this is the week two homework for she codes was to build a weather app. So this is my like attempt uh, to make one that looks pretty. So you can kind of see I used a lot of bootstrap to make the columns here. So these three columns was bootstrap these two columns. So this one, like the division here that was bootstrap. Um, so oh, and this this search guy was bootstrap. I stole that. <laughs> so and edited it. So um, it's got it's it's a really cool website. I just didn't know it existed, and um, I hope there's more um, because I really like the idea of like looking at it and then copying the code and then like messing with it. But this is really cool website. I had no idea it existed in the world, so I'm just gonna do a what is bootstrap. And then as I get more into specifics, maybe I'll do like a bootstrap buttons or bootstrap blah. Um, but I just figured it's a cool site that I've never used before. And I'm learning in the she codes class, which is pretty exciting. Um, I, it is a lot of work. I definitely don't agree that it's five hours a week. Like I definitely am feeling more like seven to 10. <laughs> or maybe I'm just like thinking about it all wrong, but it takes me a while to take these classes. Um, especially with breaks and all that and then working I'm tired like I'm exhausted I'm working all week and then Friday Saturday Sunday it was like she code she code she codes and then now I'm filming so it's like we have a lot going on right now so um, but I hope this helps you guys and I will see you guys next time